Welcome back to another episode of the Tipsy Recruiter. My name is Brett Masterson and this is... I'm Elizabeth Porter. I work in accounting here at Atlas Med Staff. Today we're going to make for you the Boozy Caramel Apple Cider. This is a family favorite for Brett. Yes. So he's going to tell you some more about it. <laughs> this is a personal favorite of my family. We like to have it around the campfire or around the fireplace with the extra heat from the apple cider being warm the alcohol hits you a little sooner than it might normally so we're gonna start by what do we do first so you've made this before so right first yeah first we're gonna get the apple cider apple cider yeah so we, how much of the apple cider do we need we do four cups four of cups. apple cider we're gonna use our super scientific home method and pour half of the jug into the pan so eyeballing it yeah and that looks about half, a little more. Are we good? Uh, that looks good. Okay, there we go, half it is. Then we add a quarter cup of brown sugar. We are gonna turn <laughs> this onto low. We want this to simmer because when we put our sugar in, it's gonna dissolve the sugar as it warms, so. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're pouring this in. Just put it in like this? Yeah, just okay. pour it in. Um, okay. There you go. So there's then, that. Then we have either two to three cinnamon sticks, or you can use a half teaspoon of cinnamon if you'd rather not use the cinnamon sticks. For aesthetic reasons, I prefer the cinnamon sticks personally. I like the cinnamon sticks because it gives it a really good cinnamon flavor, but nice. it doesn't give you the grit of the cinnamon the ground cinnamon, so. It's not as messy when you're cleaning it up either. Also true. Should we throw in the apples too? And here? the recipe doesn't call for it, but. Oh, we have some apple slices we added, we wanted to add for, once again, for aesthetic reasons. And really give it that good apple-y flavor that we like. So what's, what's really important is don't add your vodka to this yet because you don't want to cook out the alcohol. It won't be boozy caramel apple cider if you put in the vodka now. So um, we need to let this simmer a little bit and cook that sugar, and then we can add our vodka in just a little bit. So we did this in a saucepan, but... Um, yeah, if you make it in a crock pot, um, just make sure you're, there's a couple things, like stir it periodically and make sure the sugar is not sitting all at the bottom and burning like we talked about, but also make sure you're using a crock pot of the appropriate size. If you use too big of a crock pot, it's gonna get too hot and burn everything, even with everything dissolved. And this is a great one that you can put together in the morning, and once you get that sugar dissolved, you can walk away and leave, and it's delicious by the end of the day. Um, now that we've got this nice and warm, um, what's next? We have the alcohol. Oh, the best part. And then we drink. Excellent. Okay, so um, for our recipe, we are using how much? One cup. One cup, okay. We're using our super fantastic measuring cups which will also be our ladle in a minute. Oh no, it oh, spilled. Oh, no, some extra. Extra flavor, no way. Oops. Yeah, extra flavor, that's what we wanted. We have our fantastic Atlas mugs to use for today. And if you're like me, you like that fruit that's been soaking in there, so if you're a sangria fan in the same manner, make sure you get those pieces of fruit in your cup because they will also be extra delicious with those sugars. So, cheers. cheers. Oh, that's mm. really good. Yes. And vodka is one of my favorite food groups, so this is perfect. Well, this is a nice, quick, simple uh, fall drink to make. Uh, if you guys give it a try, leave us a comment down below and let us know how you like it. Yeah, let us know what you think, and if you have other variations that you think we should try, certainly let us know. We're happy to make something that uh, you want to see done, so. Okay. Oh, cheers again. Cheers. Dolan here from Beer with Atlas. Just reminding you to drink responsibly. 